Hi, this is Chris Chenoweth, and I want to teach you a new concept that is so very important to your spiritual growth. Two words very important for you to grasp. Our own, or my own, whichever you want to use. Our own. If you ever have the feeling of being unfairly treated, let us remember two important ideas. And here are the ideas. Our own good comes to us under divine law. We can't lose our own. There are things that are God-given to you. Things that you have discovered, you're aware of. And many things, the majority of things, you're not yet. No one can take your good from you. No one can take our own from us. It is like our fingerprint. If I said to you that somebody's going to come and steal your fingerprint, you'd laugh. You would know it's not possible. And yet many people think that they can lose their own. And yet your own is God-given to you. You don't have to fight for nor demand that which is your own under divine law. But you do have to be receptive to it, to have it grow and to realize more of your God-given gifts. You do have to claim it through faith and through prayer. Let us set aside any thought that our good can be withheld from us, that our good can be denied us. Let us set aside any thought that our good can be taken from us. Somebody can come in and steal our good from us in the night. Such thoughts only limit us and keep us from a state of mind that is not conductive to the joyous acceptance of all the possibilities that God has set before us for growth, unfoldment, and successful living. We do not want to cling to things that are really not our own, that we have no need of now. Many people do. I've said it before, my big surprise in ministry is that I have discovered how many people are not living their own lives. They're living lives that someone else, sometime, someplace, wanted them to live. And they don't feel fulfilled as a person. Of course they don't. They're not living their own lives. It is time for you to discover your own. It is time for you to realize that your own is God-given to you. It is time for you to bask in the gifts that you're already aware of and through faith and prayer to discover the gifts that you haven't opened yet. The good that God has for us is flowing good. It's constant. It's not stagnant. It is coming in and through us. It is keyed to our present needs, our new place in thought, our new place in consciousness. My friend, realize today that our own good comes to us under divine law, and we can't lose our own.